morning everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emily Marsala today I have obviously a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a weight loss update if you didn't catch my other videos I did dye my hair I'm still so obsessed with it I think it's so much more suitable for me than the blonde I did dye my hair t like 10 years ago um, when I was a senior in high school and I didn't really like I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as I do this time around. It's weird But yeah, so I think it's super Suitable for me. Let me know in the comments below if you like it, but Jack and I are just about to go on our walk I have some editing to do today. I started my diet bet today So I am really excited to just stay on track and we're gonna go get our steps in Well, I'm gonna get my steps in but he's gonna sit in the stroller. He's getting into something I'm not sure what it is, but Anyways, yeah, so I will catch up with you guys later. All right, so it's 11.30. Jack just ate some lunch. I say lunch lightly because he's getting his two bottom molars. He already, his two top molars already came through, and now he's getting his two bottom molars. I feel so bad because he started teething at like eight months, and it hasn't let up since. And so his just have, have just been back to back to back. And so um, he ate a pouch and a Laura bar which those chocolate, the chocolate chip Lara bars, um, they look like this. He loves them, but uh, I can't get him to eat anything else, so fed is best, right? So I work with what I can get, but I'm gonna go ahead and put him down for a nap. I'm gonna eat some lunch myself. I got my four miles in for the day, and I'm trying to do a lot better. Um, like I said, I'm gonna talk about my weight uh, update sometime today. I don't know if it'll be while he's napping or later tonight, but stay tuned for that. And I'm just really trying to focus on getting all my water in during the day. So I've been having headaches like every day and I thought it was my eyes. I thought my it was because I was straining and maybe I needed to get my eyes checked. But yesterday I drank a gallon of water and I didn't have a headache. Funny how that worked. But it's the first day in a while that I haven't had to take some headache relief medicine because it's like pounding. So obviously I figured out the problem, I think. I'm 98% sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink. I made a rule for myself that I have to drink all my water before I can have my sparkling water. So yesterday I drank a whole gallon and then I actually ended up not even really drinking the sparkling water. So that was probably a good thing because I'd been drinking it every day in place of water, which is bad. So anyways, I'm rambling. I have been for almost two minutes now, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat some lunch and clean this mess up, do some editing, and I'll catch up with you soon. have that folded I'm gonna go ahead and finally eat some lunch and I will probably catch up with you guys maybe around snack time for Jack I'm hoping that he sleeps good today because his naps have kind of been lame um, like a half of what they should be because of his teeth so each day I'm like crossing my fingers that we've broken through that hurdle but we will see so I'm gonna cross my fingers Pray to God that he sleeps well and hope for the best. Hey guys. Whoa. Okay. So I am on my way to my mom's house right now. 
we I have to go pick up some bottles that I bought um, for I bought some thieves cleaner I'm trying to go to non-toxic products but I'm starting slowly so just to see get a feel of how I like them and stuff so I bought some bottles to put the um, cleaning stuff and water in but I ship all my stuff to my mom's house. You guys probably don't care about anything that I'm telling you right now, but I'm telling you anyways. So, mom and my to my mom's to go get some bottles that I had shipped there. But it's me and Jack, and I am so excited because I'm making pulled pork for dinner, but I'm not gonna show you guys, I didn't show you how I made it because I'm going to feature it in a crock pot video that, I, that is coming out next week. So I'm not gonna show you how, you how I made it, but stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna have five crock pot meals coming out in that video and that'll be one of them. So um, yeah, and hopefully when we get home, dinner will be ready and I'm super excited because I love pulled pork. So I'm sorry this day was uneventful. It's so gloomy out and we didn't do much today. Um, I went to Schnucks to go get some ice cream because This Is Us starts tonight and you girl loves This Is Us. It's my one of my favorite shows. It's one that I keep up on. One of the few that I keep up on. We're at Lumi's. Are you excited? <gasps> yeah. He always gets so excited when we get here. It's the cutest thing. Are you going to go in? <gasps> I think I think Lenny wants to see us. Hi, Lenny. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hi guys, so clearly it is a completely different day. I am in completely different attire, but I just wanted to hop on here, close out the video, and give you my update about my weight. So I am currently sitting at 157. That's what I weighed in at today. My lowest was 153. I have been in a plateau since May, which is insane because it's October 1st. But I had this happen to me last year around like, I think it was, it started in November and I was like fluctuating the same five, seven pounds till March, I think, around March. So about four months. So this happens. It's, I know that it happens. I just get really unmotivated. I don't want to do it, but I'm still trying. And that is the biggest tip. Like. If I were to just quit, if I were to just have quit back in May, I would not have been where I am now. But I still chugged through and in the past few days, probably since Sunday, I've been insanely motivated. Like I'm so ready to get these next 10 pounds off and get in the 140s and get close to goal. And I started my diet bet with Felicia on Instagram and so I'll put her IG tag down below. But if you're only relying on motivation to get you to your goal weight, you're not going to make it. You have to chug through. You have to go through those hard days. And even if you're just maintaining, even if you're fluctuating the same five pounds, that's better than gaining 15, 20 more from when it was. So uh, I just wanted to give that little tidbit. I'm excited for this coming month. I think I'm going to do a what I eat in a day, maybe next week. But um, I've been walking every day, walking four miles to get all my steps in. I have bought this new water bottle, so I'm getting all my water in. And just like, I'm just feeling really motivated this month. So I have a really good feeling. But um, yeah, so not much has changed, which is why I haven't really talked about it. But I did think that it was important to let you guys know that this is normal. This is this happens in weight loss journeys, but I'm learning and I'm proud of myself for still going through the motions to get where I want to be, even if I'm having more slip ups than you know, good days. I'm still trying, and that's the biggest part. So I'm sorry this vlog wasn't very exciting, but I was excited to give you guys an update on um my stuff. I also switched to blue, switched back to blue, so I can't make up my mind. But I did start a new Instagram to um, log my meals for accountability, which has also been helping. And that is, um, I'll put the tag here, but it's www.emilymarsala. So same thing as my regular, just www period in front of it. Um, just to log my meals and 
yeah so if you guys have any, any other questions for me feel free to put it in the comments down below if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i love you guys so much i post every monday wednesday and friday and i will see you guys next time bye guys on the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone